and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome my name's Alexis and today I want to show you my boys gift guide for 7 plus as I just mentioned today I want to talk to you all about my boys gift guide so I thought I'd share with you the presents that we bought our son this year my son has turned seven this year um, and he's definitely into his Lego and Fortnite so I thought these gifts might give you some inspiration for your children I will try to find the links for all of them and put them in the description box below for you um, but yeah I just thought this might be an interesting video for people who may not have bought their children presents yet as you can see we're not looking this that Christmassy at the moment I have a Christmas jumper on but that is the only thing Christmassy and the presents in this video um, it's my I'm pre-recording this in November so that I can schedule it for December and it's my husband's birthday on the 3rd of December so we can't actually put up any decorations until after his birthday so that's why it's looking a bit bare in this room this room will probably stay like this it'll be downstairs that um, needs decorating so yes I thought I'd pre-record this and share these toys with you so here is my boys gift guide my son has just started playing Fortnite on the Switch and on the tablet. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy to Fortnite, but we have checked it out and we think it's okay for my son to play. If it does get dangerous at any point, it will be switched off though. But yeah, we've started to let him play that. And this year he wanted some toys. So he was looking through the Argos catalog and he really liked the look of this. And this is a Fortnite quad crusher um, and this is just basically a plastic toy that they must play with in Fortnite I think so I think he's really going to like this he picked this out of the Argos catalogue himself and he actually wrote it in a letter to Santa Claus as well Father Christmas so I thought that was really sweet um, I bought this in Asda it was actually the cheapest in Asda um, it was £30 uh, I did go to Smith's Toy Superstore and it was 35 in there and then I went down the road a bit to Asda and it was only £30 so Asda was the cheapest place to buy it um, and we have another Fortnite toy that I will show you now. So this is the next Fortnite toy and this is the Battle Bus. I'm not sure what any of these toys are but Ted really wanted this as well. He saw it in again I think it was the Argos catalogue and he wrote it in his letter to Father Christmas as well and he really liked the look of this so we decided to buy it for him. We have been saving up all year for Christmas and we put a little bit extra away this year because we always tend to overspend so yeah we have over spent on Ted I think a little bit but we don't buy him presents throughout the year this is the one time of the year that he'll get a lot of presents so I don't mind as much um, so yes this is the Fortnite Battle Bus and I have another Fortnite toy that I'm going to show you now it is all Fortnite 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 I have a fourth toy down there as well so this is the Fortnite um, A. TK all terrain cart as well so I'm sure he's gonna have a lot of fun playing with these um, I think this actually talks oh it makes a funny noise that's probably gonna go off now isn't it so yeah um, he really likes this game so obviously he's wanted all the toys for it as well so yes I can't remember how much any of these cost but if I can find them I'll link them in the description box below for you and I will show you the final Fortnite toy that we bought him as well now so the final Fortnite toy is this shopping cart pack so this comes with two action figures and a shopping trolley and a couple of guns for the action figures to hold um, and that's it really that's all the Fortnite toys we bought and again if I can find any of these I will link them in the description box below for you and thankfully my son still loves his Lego as well he's only asked for one Lego toy this year which was quite surprising but he did get quite a few for his birthday I have to say so this year he has asked for a Lego City airport I think this is so inside here they have an aeroplane um, the front of what looks like a waiting room so that's probably a pretend waiting room um, a little refuel 
uh, van, I think, and then a luggage van here, and they've got lots of little action figures in here as well. So I'm sure he's going to enjoy this one. This has two, four, six little action figures and lots of other stuff as well. I don't think this was too expensive either. I think my husband actually got a bit of a bargain on this one, and I think he bought it from Hamley's as well. But again, if I can find this one, I will link it in the description box below for you. And Ted has recently started playing poker on go again um, so this year we're not too sure why he wanted this toy but he wanted a Pokemon carry case playset so inside this carry case there are there is um, it opens up into like a Pokemon world um, and it has a couple of mini figures in here or it has one one figure included which is Pikachu um, and then you can just play inside and pretend you're playing Pokemon Go so it's better than having to go out so we can play this instead of having to go out when it's raining I think this would be much better um, <laughs> so yeah again I can't remember how much this cost but if I can find it I will link it in the description box below for you and I've also been to the local bookshop this year as well. My son Ted really likes a series called Dogman. Um, and he has about three or four of the Dogman books now. But he wanted a few more for Christmas. So I've bought him Dogman Fetch 22 and Dogman For Whom the Ball Rolls as well. Um, I think there's about seven or eight. But they're not in any order. That's the thing that the lady in the bookshop always says, my friend Natasha always says to me, these aren't any new, in any order and it's really confusing as to know which ones you've got. So next time he wants some more Dogman books, I think I'm gonna to have to write a list of the ones he's already got so I don't get confused as to what he's got and what he hasn't. Um, but these are by an author called Dave Pilkey and I actually paid the RRP for these. So these are 8 99 each, but these are well worth it. My son really likes these. I think he read one of these books in a day as well they're quite a cartoony style book but he really enjoys reading that sort of book and anything to get him reading is a good thing really so yeah if I can find these products I'll link them in the description box below for you and as I said I bought these from the chicken and frog bookshop so if you need help with um, any books wherever you are in the world please write to the chicken and frog bookshop because they will always try and help anybody honestly if you need help knowing about children's books or what to buy children then they are fantastic at um, helping you and I will link their website in the description box below as well I thought it was a little surprise for my son I would buy him some things that he wasn't expecting so I bought him explore space and this is a you can make the solar system with this my son isn't this kind of kid to sit down and color but if he's going to sit down and build something then he will um, and these were two from ten two for ten pounds from the works as well so you can build the solar system with this one and he really enjoys space so I thought that would encourage him um, to find out more about space and what goes on in space and then he also really likes zombies as well at the moment um, so I I bought this one as well and this is create a zombie science so um you make up blood and a zombie hand or anatomy as well so you can create your own little zombie with this one um, I'm sure he's going to love this and I thought that I might leave these as a thank you from Ernie our elf we have an elf come to stay with us every year and I thought I might leave these as a thank you present from him. So these are two presents he's not expecting to have this Christmas. And if I can find these, I'll link them in the description box below. And then we also went into the works and he saw this, which is a cheeky pot. Um, and it squeezes foam. It's a squeezer squeezy foam shooter um so i thought he'd really enjoy this he saw this and wanted it and i was like it's three pounds and he'd already had something else that day and i was like no you've had something else maybe wait for christmas so i thought i would uh, say that ernie is listening and he got him this as well um yeah it's just one of those things that you can squeeze and i thought my son sometimes gets in a bit bad 
a bit of a bad mood and he can't really explain how he's feeling but I thought if he has something to do with his hands then it might help with his frustration a little bit of not being able to explain how he's feeling because sometimes he doesn't always want to talk about it as well and I can kind of understand that so I thought something that he can do might help him a little bit with his anger and stuff like that so I thought this was a really sweet present and um, I will link it in the description box below for you and then finally I went to Hotel Chocolat and in this box were six items but two of them I've put into Ted's Christmas Eve box and I will link that video in the description box below for you but I thought he might enjoy the bits and pieces that were left in this box in his stocking so normally every year I will buy him a Santa from Hotel Chocolat but this year I couldn't get one. Um, I don't know if I went too early or if they were out of stock already. I'm not sure. It didn't even show on the website when I typed it in. So I was a little bit upset by that because he really likes the caramel chocolate in there. But I got him a £20 gift set. As I said, I put two bits in his Christmas Eve box and the rest I'm going to put in his stocking or his Christmas sack. Um, so this is a jolly penguin and he really likes the penguin anyway. He's a milk chocolate penguin, so I'm sure he's going to enjoy that. And I did manage to get um, some caramel chocolate. As this one is uh, this is a chocolate bar that they make and it's called Comet Does Caramel and then he has also got oh there's only five bits in here actually I don't know and then he's also got some Jolly Penguins as well so I'm going to put those in his Christmas stocking as well and these are Molten Caramel wrapped up in Mellow Milk Chocolate as well so I'm absolutely positive that he's going to enjoy these. Unfortunately, again, I couldn't get a Christmas Santa. I was really upset about that, but I'm sure he's going to love this, and I just hope he doesn't remember. And again, if I can find these, I will link them in the description box below for you. So that's my boy's gift guide for seven-year-olds and that's all of the presents that I have bought my son this year. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye!